ladies and gentlemen, it is a beautiful day today here at Transwest RV in Belton, Missouri. And today we found a 2022 Newmar Essex. And we found Dwayne here at Transwest. How you doing today, sir? I'm great. How are you doing, Andrew? Great, thank you, sir. I hear you've got a lot of great information about this Newmar Essex to this share with us. Essex is incredible. The 2022 Newmar Essex is just a phenomenal vehicle. Yeah, so what's going on with this particular coach? Well, it's a 2022. This is the 4569 floor plan. So it's got a great kitchen in it. It's got a smaller bathroom than the 4551, but it still has all the great amenities that you'll find in a Newmar Essex. It's got that 605 horsepower engine, sits on the Spartan K3 chassis, and just an incredible vehicle. Yeah, do you think we could take a closer look at that uh, engine bay? Absolutely. Yes, sir, and I've got to compliment this paint job. I love the navy blue, silver, and white absolutely stunning but what's all going on in this engine bay so in the bay we've got a 605 horsepower engine it's a cummins engine and then you have 1950 pound foot of torque on this vehicle 20,000 pound towing capacity you're going to be able to pull anything that you want to take along behind this coach yes sir a lot of equipment now, i know transwest orders a lot of your units with special paint schemes is this standard from the factory or is there something special about this no this has special exterior colors on it as well and we do a lot of that here at transwest we i mean newmar does a great job with their paint schemes and everything like that we like to differentiate our coaches from just the standard norm if you will i'm noticing here the paint continues through the radiator fins and then it's got the stainless along the side that does continue into the radiator fins what else is going on in this so paint the, scheme? the paint coating on the the essex has a five cut and buff process and it's similar to what the king areas are exactly like the king areas so you've got a really really high-end paint exterior on this coach and as you said you've got the paint flowing down and if the slides were open at this time you could see also that the paint continues on those slides so it's just not a single color in that slide on the paint and it carries through you mentioned the stainless steel we get the stainless steel trim at the bottom of this coach which really dresses it up as well emergency egress store i'm a big fan of that option what else is going on with this coach yeah so newmar did the emergency egress in 2016 and at the time they did it for the first coaches it didn't have a ladder that is telescoping to get you to the ground so but if you were in a situation where you had a fire let's say in the coach heaven forbid you would have to jump out. Now they've integrated a telescoping ladder. You just pull off a panel and the ladder drops to the ground. You can get out very easily. And it's a great place also to load the coach if you want to do that from the outside in. What else is going on here? So you've got the steerable tag axle here and it's a Spartan chassis. So you've got a 17 degree axle turn or, or wheel turn here to help with the turning radius of the coach from the front. It gives you a tighter turning radius with a 17 degree cut here. And then you've got the drive axles. Newmar does a nice port here where you can put, if you're using uh, a larger waist hose, you can put that in there. Just a nice place to stow it away without having to keep it in your water bay, which is a great feature to have. And then this exhaust is for the Oasis system. So the Oasis is the hydronic system that gives you the heated water continuous and also your heat in the coach. So hydronic actually uses the diesel fuel whenever you're not plugged in, or you can plug it in and use the electric side of that system. So again, it's gonna give you that continuous uh, hot water. It's also gonna give you the heat in the coach. 50,000 BTU, I might, I might add. So uh, 50,000 BTU on a coach like this is gonna be plenty of a heat, heat plenty of heat resource for this. Is that a more powerful hydronic heating system than like comes in like a Dutch Star or the lower level units, or is that the same unit? It's gonna be a, a heavier one than, than the Dutch Star. It's a nicer unit, it's a bigger box. You got this nice stainless steel bay here. Uh, the mantle block system, you got everything marked nicely. So all your valves right there, this does have the macerator, so you can grind up the, the black waste and dispense it into uh, the ground, into the, the sewage system. And then you've got all of your digital displays here. You can check your tank levels. What all can you do from that digital display? So you can check your tank levels here. It's got a home, you've got your fresh, your black and your gray. And then you've got lights here for security drivers system. This hose, I have seen this on a King Air and I used to detail RVs for a living. I've broken a lot of sewer hoses climbing around these coaches. 
I love that option now. Is that standard on the Essex or where? Uh... It is standard on the Essex. And I have not seen that on the lower level units. Is that only on the luxury line or when do they start using that? It is an option in the lower uh, lines of the Newmark coaches. So from uh, the Dutch star down, it would be an option that you can get that on the coaches. Okay, yeah, great feature. The We've got in this bay, you've got a whole coach surge protector. We always advise that you probably ought to get a surge protector at the pole also because you just never know whenever you're going to get a surge in power and just to doubly protect all of the electronics that are in this coach it's not a bad idea to go ahead and do that you have a retractable 50 amp 50 foot reel on the the coach here and you've got it's powered so you can retract it and it's simply manual pulled now this one has also a 30 amp receptacle here so if you have a stacker trailer and you want to plug that into the coach you're able to do that here as well just a really really nice feature and for newmar to give you 50 foot is a great uh, benefit as well because sometimes you can get pretty far away from that that pole where you get the power from and then here is that oasis chinook system i talked about for the hydronic heat system so it gives you that 15,000 btus of heat in the coach plenty to keep your you and your family warm uh, mm -hmm. on those cold winter nights wherever you are Yes, sir. Now, does this coach have heated floors? It does have heated floors. Yeah, all the way through. So you're going to have three zones of heat. You're going to have it in the living room, kitchen area, in the bedroom area, and also in the bathroom area. Nice. I'm looking forward to showing everyone the interior of this coach. It is absolutely stunning, but let's keep going through these bays. You've got a pass-through bay here from either side of the coach where you can retract it and you can uh, also bring it out so it makes it very easy for loading and unloading the coach from either side. Newmar always gives you some nice floor tiles there in case you get a crack or something's broken you drop a heavy pan on it you do have those tiles there to fall back on so that the floor remains consistent as it was from the factory. Again let's look at this paint scheme just absolutely beautiful. I'll point out here that you have a camera up here so have 360 degree camera view on this coach a lot of people ask about the roof rails here whether they are also awnings and it's not on the passenger side here but it also keeps the coach consistent in the way that it looks because the opposite side you do have the nice gerard nova awnings which deploy from the top of the coach and down as you're mentioning the paint i'm i'm a detail guy so i've got to point out just the little intricate details in the paint job like this drop shadow here that almost gives the impression like this paint that that, that stripe is almost popping off of the paint like a three-dimensional look and all these little details details that they add these little drop shadows require a lot of extra work to make that happen but the finished product really shows yeah it's it's beautiful and as i point out awnings we've got an awning here over the individual window now this is a bedroom i know this is the outside window for the bedroom and you've got a nice awning there as you do for the living area on this side also but Newmar does just a fine job. You got the docking lights here so that when you're parking, maybe late at night and you want to have illumination around the coach so you can see what you're doing, you have that access to the, the lighting here. Another smaller tray, smaller in that it's narrower than the previous one was, but also powered from either side. And is this on the Spartan K K3 chassis? It is. Nice. Yeah. That's the same chassis as the King Air. That is exactly right. So the King Air, the Essex, and the London Air are also on the K3 chassis. So you've got eight batteries here for the house side of the system on a nice tray. Pull a couple pins on either side, pull the handle, and then they can come out. So you have easy access to those for replacing them just to check the health of the battery also. Makes it very nice also for our technicians in case they need to get in the bay. Newmar has been in business for coming on 55 years. They uh, do a lot of stuff to make life, life easier for the technicians. Absolutely. And then you have dual fuel fill. Now this coach has a 150 gallon fuel tank. The King Air has 200 gallons, so a little bit lighter on the fuel on this coach. But you can actually fill it from either side of the coach also. So pay at the pump on this side. You got the satellite fill from the other side. Just walk around there and fill it twice as fast. So here you have a, a hydraulic access to the generator. Also your generator exhaust from right here. A lot of the circuits, a lot of the fuses. You have extra fuses here, spare fuses in case one of these uh, goes south on you. You have the, abs uh, the possibility of replacing that very easily. And Newmar gives that to you. So it's a nice feature to have as well. 
Yeah, sir. So that that uh, the twelve five generator, you have to have the ignition turned on in order to pull that uh, front bay out. That's right. Just a, a totally different style than we've seen. What all is going on up front here, sir? So you have the collision mitigation system. You've got the mobile eye that's on the coach. It's going to uh, keep you at a safe distance between you and the vehicle in front of you. So it makes it nice to alert you that if you're getting too close to something, and uh, it's just another safety feature that Newmar's placed on the coach, which again safety in these is very very important you've got a 54,000 pound vehicle going down the road and i should mention also 74,000 pound gross combined carrying weight on this vehicle so you've got 20,000 pounds that you can carry of your stuff that's a that's a heavy piece of equipment i'll point out the camera at the top again i said 360 degree camera and if you see the banner at the front you've got comfort drive steering system so it's a steering assisted system whereby that uh, you can control the tension in the steering wheel, make it lighter for slower speeds, a little heavier for highway speeds and everything to take a lot of that wind gust away or the high profile vehicle shift that you'll get by a high profile vehicle passing you in one of these great big buses. The other thing is at a complete stop, if you turn that steering wheel all the way to the left or to the right, it's always going to find center for you. So just simply let go of that steering wheel, it's going to take you to center. All roads being shaped like this, it's continually trying to go to center driving down the road so you're not going to be doing this or this while you're driving the coach. They've had that in place since 2007 when they uh, developed, when TRW was a company that developed this and Newmar picked it up and has used it on all of their Class A coaches since 2008 in every one of their diesel pusher coaches. Yeah, huge selling point for Newmar, and I know a lot of Newmar owners that continue to purchase Newmar product, and that's a, a big reason for that, the drivability. Um, now, I always like to point out one thing I really like that, that the Essex does that not a lot of other motorhomes do is they hide the wiper blades there, keep the UV off of that rubber, just one more thing they're thinking of, huh? That's right, you get that bull nose front, I call it, and it hides those nicely away so it doesn't clutter up the front. Again, it's a very sleek, nice finish. You got the little cutouts in the, the stainless steel in front here, and just a lovely coach. Yes, to sir. To go down the road and to be seen in. Yes, sir, absolutely. So on the Spartan K3 chassis, we have a nice, well laid out, system here where you can turn off your chassis to disconnect those you have the chassis batteries here and they make it very easy because your air dryer is right here and you've got a filter right here that's very accessible so to change those in other chassis it's not quite so easy to get to so that's a very nice convenience for the owner if they do any of the work themselves or certainly for technicians if they're going to take it into a shop to have those things uh, addressed i had an older uh, tiffin product the air dryer filter was way tucked under i think i spent two hours trying to change that myself so i can appreciate that feature yeah. and in here you have your dev tank a 15 gallon dev tank again you can fill it from either side as we were on the driver's side uh, a little while ago we had a port where you can fill the dev tank from that side it's also also where the pumps are but on this side you can also fill that tank here your two and a half gallons if you want to do that rather than dispensing it at the fueling stations um, so it makes it very accessible right here to use the two and a half gallons if that's how you like to fill it nice frames around your slides and Numar uses the hydraulic slide on some of those great big wall slides that they have and then also you've got an electric slide back here but they have the great big cogs also where it turns uh, a cog wheel in there Numar developed some time ago very robust very beefy to handle the weight of a lot of those slides and the things that they put on them fun fact Numar was the very first company ever to put slides in a coach but when they did a, a fifth wheel way back when they started early uh, in making coaches here we have your entertainment center for the exterior now because of the configuration of the inside that's why we have the TV down low here but if you're sitting on a lawn chair it makes it great for viewing there and this frankly takes a lot of the glare from the sun or anything like that away as well as your nice awnings which I mentioned on the other side so we have Gerard Nova awnings that have LED lighting underneath them and you can see the little yellow buttons all the way underneath them but they will come out and they deploy it and then down. So even the sun in this position is going to shade your patio on a nice sunny day. Yeah, uh, talking about lighting, I love how the bays are all lit up well. You've got outlets and USB ports here. And you have the, the Bose stereo system here. 
for your TV, and then you can do your dash radio also from right here as well if you want to play that from the dash radio. So it makes it very, very nice. Um, you can see you've got the, the buttons here, you can turn it off, the system off, dash radio, you get your TV, and just the Bose system, everybody knows the name Bose, very high end, and that's what you get in this coach. Yeah, very simple too, I like the simplicity of that. This one has an option, we could put a slide tray in this one, so you have additional sliding space, it would be a manual space, but as you notice the ch chassis rail here, you've got a lot of height. So for those things that are maybe taller, makes it an easier place to stow some of those things rather than slide tray that takes up just a little bit of room. Makes it very convenient, but it does take up room as well as it would with the manual tray here. So a lot of your components here. It does have the central vacuum system and this is the clean out for that. And then you have the port also that you could use outside. So if you want to use that vacuum outside to clean up the base of the coach, certainly you can do that as well. Again, you mentioned electrical. You have another electrical um, outlet here. So if you have any kind of plug-in grill, anything like that, makes it very convenient and easy to use from right there. And just the opposite side of one of the trays that we showed you. So very easy in and out, loading, unloading. And those would be the hoses for that central vacuum system we just mentioned. That narrow tray from this side. And then this coach is also equipped with a nice big Dometic exterior freezer refrigerator so instead of taking people in and out of your coach to get a beverage you can stock this well have people just come and get that here so they don't have to go in and out of your coach maybe your tailgater makes it convenient for that purpose as well yeah and i believe you can set the temperatures you can set up both of them as refrigerators or both of them as freezers whatever combination you that's, want to do that's exactly right you sure can nice very cool i'm looking forward to seeing the inside of this coach now Dwayne I got to ask you a question here I'm extremely impressed by your choice of outfit your clothes match this coach did you do that intentionally today I really did not hey <laughs> it just happened to work out that way I like your style so let's, let's take a look inside here so I want to take you inside the coach now and show you what it looks like inside but first of all let me bring your attention to this you've got a very nice grab handle here it's illuminated at nighttime, so it gives you some nice lighting at the doorway here. Also with keyless entry and a doorbell. So all the conveniences of home right here in the handle. Let me open this up and show you what these steps look like coming out. So nice hydraulic steps. For those people who maybe have a little trouble with the steps, getting in and out, maybe they're an aging population. Again, a very elegant coach here and a very nice convenience. Now, we're still sitting on the airbags and they're full here on the coach. We could have released those airbags so it sits just a little bit lower, but as you can see, not a very big step for that first step to enter into the coach. Dwayne, this coach is absolutely stunning. What's all going on in the interior of this coach? So as I said, this is a 4569. We've got a great kitchen in this particular floor plan. This island right here is stationary, so it does not move, it stays stationary. When those slides come in, it comes in over the top of it. And over here, you still have access to half of the huge stainless steel sink. And I've never seen that before. That shape reminds me of the Newmar logo. Is this sink the shape of a Newmar logo? <laughs> it is. I don't know if that was intentional or not. But I it's, think it's so. A very nice feature. A cool little touch that they do. Uh, they're thinking of all kinds of cool stuff yeah. over there. And you have the nice solid surface countertops here throughout the coach. And then in the kitchen area here, first of all, we've got an Advantium GE Profile uh, convection microwave oven. But a few years ago, again in 2016, Newmar introduced this great cooktop. And cutting boards on the opposite side of those, so very functional. But in the event that someone makes to, wants to make bacon, fish, anything that would normally smell up the coach, you can simply take this out, unplug it from the outlet here. We saw all the outlets outside. Just plug it in out there, use it outside and not stink up the coach and just clean up and, and your coach stays nice and fresh inside here. 
Yeah, and I'm noticing this huge window with a beautiful view from your galley. Is that standard on the Essex or is that an option? It is an option on the coach, about $1,500 for that option. I'll tell you that the window does not open, but sure, as far as light coming in from outside, really lights up the kitchen and makes it very, very nice. And you've got these nice countertops here, coffee maker, um, plenty of prep space with the island, certainly, and just uh, really opens it up. Yeah, really nice floor plan. And um, if you do want to get some fresh air, there is a vent with a fan with that nice aesthetic piece there. It, it does have the fantastic fan. So it's got the rain sensors on it in the event that you, rain would start and you have the fan open, it would shut down that top and close down the fan. So Numbar does a great job with cabinetry as well. Now this is the Sable Maple cabinetry. And as I open it, you see very nice space here. You simply give a little push in and the drawers will come full extension out, makes it very accessible for those things inside. You have very nice um, lined shelves here so that you can put things there. They're not as likely to just slide back and forth when you're traveling down the road. So this is a big 700 Bose sound bar to give you great, rich surround sound. Um, with that particular unit here. So a lot of high-end amenities. You have a Televator TV that pops up from right here. And the access to that is very conveniently located by one of these great theater seats here. By simply pushing the home key, you go to systems and then to TV lift up and down and just a touch of the button and there you have access to the nice Samsung flat screen TV. Yeah, and I just want to point out how quiet and effortless that's coming out. That's probably the quietest elevator I've ever heard. Is that right? I mean, seriously, I'm in a lot of different motor coaches and that's, that's, there's not a lot of noise. A lot of them have this little shifting that goes on, a little reverberation, if you will. These are generally pretty quiet. I'm very um, impressed. Again, high end coach. This coach retails at just over $1 million. So you would expect it to be a very nice and elegant coach inside and as it is. So I would call the Essex a little bit more traditional in the way that it looks with the raised panels on the cabinetry rather than that of the King Air, which are the nice sleek panels, gives you more European design, I think, and more contemporary design rather than this, um, this Essex coach. We have Villa furniture in here. So Villa has been around for a long time in the RV industry and they do a great job with the fabric here. So a lot of people ask, how many can this coach sleep? Well, comfortably the coach is gonna sleep four. Two of course in the master bedroom and then two on this particular um, bed, which comes out, lands on some legs, the back comes forward. Yeah, you wanna pull it out real quick and show us? Absolutely. Yeah. So it makes a nice bed as it is. Maybe someone would want to get a little uh, mattress topper to put here to make it even more comfortable. But again, a nice space for two people to uh, join you on your trip if you so choose. Yeah, absolutely. And there's still plenty of room here to walk through the coach, even with this bed being out to get back to that half bathroom or whatnot. Right. Yeah. And one thing I really like that Newmar does is cup holders in the recliners i'm surprised that we don't see more cup holders and coaches because we all gotta gotta keep a cold <laughs> beverage close by so absolutely it's called recreational vehicle right yes sir yes sir so mentioning that you've got the theater seats and you do have the lighted cup holders here so a little illumination there and then great space storage is always at a premium in a coach so this one has great storage below they also have these little panels that one can take out as a type of TV tray. Oh, nice. So in the event that you want to sit and watch TV, have a beverage, you can have it here. Your meal here makes it a nice way to do that. Yeah, a lot of space. That when we close this too, I just, I want to point out how large that armrest is there. So 
you know, two people can sit very comfortably uh, without getting in each other's space. Very nice setup. And quite frankly, a lot of people travel with dogs in these things. So if they allow the dogs in the furniture, it's a great space for one to sit by, mom or dad or whomever. Absolutely. Yes, sir. What else going on up in the cockpit area here? So you have the comfort drive system, as we talked about, on the outside. And this has the, the vibrating seats and the rolling lumbar and everything so it's going to make it comfortable for the driver you have heated and cooled seats here or ventilated seats you can see by the little uh, dimples that are in the, the seat and you can hear that vibrating this is a pretty uh pretty strong vibration there uh and and there's actually some other does this i was in a king air yesterday that had like the rolling function uh this what, does what as well functions does yeah so you've got the wave you've got a little bit of zigzag here the pulsation and then you've got zone one two and three on different areas of the seat so if you've been traveling a long time and you need just a little bit of uh comfort or just a little massage action you can get that with these chairs and does your passenger have that uh has that as well on the coach so again ventilated heated and you do have the power seats here for your uh massage for the same items that you have on the, on the uh, driver's seat here and you might notice that this seat is just a little bit wider so the queen's chair Yes, sir. Or we can call it the king's chair if the queen's driving. Yes, sir. Um, they have a little bit more uh, space here on the coach to have comfort while going down the road. And I'll bring this to your attention also. So you've got this um, satellite screen here. So the person sitting in the cockpit doesn't have to worry about setting the coordinates in the dash. We can do that from right here. As the co-pilot, you can see cameras around the coach and really clear screen too very bright so there's your 360 degree you've got the front the sides and the rear and then you can see the top of the coach as it views down and around to the side and rear of the coach and then you've got the navigation also so one could set the coordinates here they would also display in the dash and your passenger also has wireless charging AC controls for the passenger side, step cover control. Right here we have, of course, the digital display. This coach has 691 miles on it, and that's about the number of miles that we see them coming in from the Newark factory, which these are made in Napanee, Indiana. And from right here at the home screen, we have the display in the center. Right now we're on the trip mode, so we can see for trip A, we've got 654.3 miles on it but we can go up through the settings and simply click the OK here. There's that comfort drive and all of the settings for it. So when we're in a lower number, it gives you the freedom and this mobility in the steering wheel, very light touch, turning left and right. But for highway driving, as I described earlier, you can take that up to a higher setting when driving down the road and it's going to stiffen up the drive here at the steering wheel so that it's going to uh, take a lot of the high wind gusts away as well as the shift in high profile vehicles passing you. You can see your tire pressure monitoring system which is a standard feature in the coach and see all the things going on there. And we have air leveling and hydraulic leveling in the coach. So if you're at a place where you don't want to necessarily put those hydraulic levels down, you can use the airbags on the coach to try to level it out for you. We've got the brightness of the dash. So if you're driving late at night and you don't want that high illumination uh, in your face or maybe people around you are trying to sleep, you can take a lot of that brightness out of there. Then you have messages for the chassis and then just the settings that we were in before the trip information about the coach so the accelerator position here i guess it's because of the throttle load on the engine right now you're getting some readings here and your engine oil temperature it's going to show your boost and then the transmission temperature all right here going circulating through here in the display so it's giving you that um, that feedback right here from the dash tire pressure monitoring system a different screen it shows you each of the tires and what the psi is on those tires and I mentioned the coach is continually trying to center itself. So from a low setting and a dry stop, we're not moving at all, I'm going to take the steering wheel and turn it all the way to the left. And then just by releasing it, the steering wheel is going to find center for us. 
So if you're trying to back up into a space or you're trying to move forward, you don't necessarily know the position of the tires. With a comfort drive system, you can always count on it being straight. So you can just simply draw, pull forward or pull back and those tires are going to be straight in order to go in that uh, orientation. On the left screen, you've got your radio displays and you can set your all your radio features, your navigation. You can set that up for this particular screen. It's closer to the driver, so easier to see when you're trying to take turns. And again, this same display is going to be the thing that you're going to see on the satellite screen at the passenger side. We can change to the camera views here and where we want to see the cameras and display here. So we want to see to the front of the coach, we see all of our inventory in front of us. To the left of the coach, we have the left display, of course, we've got the slide out. And here is the paint that I was referring to earlier. So you see it in the ends of the slides and it continues from the pattern on the side of the coach. We have the full side view, right, broader right, and then the rear of the coach. Now here, if someone is pulling a stacker trailer and they want to see beyond that trailer, maybe over the top of it, it's not, if it's not too tall, you can see a farther distance behind, pull it in closer and pull it right up on the hitch if you have a tow vehicle and want to see what's going on very close to the coach there. So great features. Coach has a wonderful sound system and it's the JBL sound system and it uh, very nice for those people who like music while driving down the road. Yeah, and so we just fired up the generator here. It's a hot day. We didn't have that going, but still very quiet inside of this coach with that generator running. What uh, what size generator is this? A 12.5? It's a 12.5. So it's Onan's 12.5 uh, generator on the coach. It's a diesel generator. So going down the road, you would want to have that generator running in order to run your air conditionings on the roof while going down the road. And you have an energy management system with those two. So uh, most typically you're going to have two of those running at any, any given time. And you've got the, the temperature sensor uh, in the coach, throughout the coach. So it's going to detect in particular areas what the temperature is and it's going to manage that by turning one off, turning one on. We just heard the air coming on here. And so a uh, very nice feature also with the auto gen start. So I mentioned that a lot of people travel with their pets. So if it's a cool morning, but it's gonna be a hot day like it is here in Kansas City, one could leave their coach, leave their pet inside and have the tolerances set in the system such that if the temperature gets to a certain tolerance in the coach, it will kick that generator on. So it will start those uh, air conditioners for you and keep the pet nice and comfortable while in the coach and while you're away and you have the peace of mind in doing that. Yeah, and when you turn these AC units on, I've got to point out, still very quiet in here. Uh, how many AC units does this coach have? There are three AC units. Two of those will be heat pumps. So 15,000 BTU units on the roof. Yeah, very quiet and I love the aesthetics of the ceiling here. What type of fresh gray and black uh, tank capacities do we have? Fresh water, we have 105 gallons. We have a gray at 80 gallons and we have the black at 60 gallons. So a lot of capacity for each of those tanks. Yeah, you can do some dry camping in this coach. Absolutely. And also, and I mentioned earlier, the fuel is 150 gallons. So yes, sir. You can travel quite a distance, you know, on that, that number of gallons in the tank. But from the brains here with the silver lace system, you can see your settings and your charging, the voltage, you can see what your battery levels are in the coach. We can go to the generator. We know that it's running because we'd mentioned it earlier and it's quiet. And then your water capacities, your tank levels, all digital here. And then the climate control. So in the coach, again, it's a very hot day. We have the, the cooling on right now with those three ACs and you can set it for different areas of the coach or you can do it for all of the coach and you can set that for auto fan or you can just have the fan running high medium or low and then you got the block heater and the floor heat that we mentioned also in the different zones of course we don't have it running now but the camera view we can do the same thing that we did in the dash by looking around the coach all of the day and nighttime shades are right here we can lock those doors and then you can configure the system based on the way you want it Nice. And then the brightness of the screen. A lot of people don't want any light while they're trying to sleep. And this one you can take to a dark position also. Uh, as far as your lighting controls, we looked at it for lifting the TV earlier. 
but here is all the lighting controls in different areas of the coach and you can see them very well lit you can go to some back menus here for other lighting and shades and systems just very easy to get around so all power shades in this coach you can put them up and down by the press of a button that's right day and nighttime shades nice now you can stop them along the way you want them halfway down and of course with the engine running those front shades are going to have a, a tolerance where they're going to go because they didn't want to block your view, of course, when you're driving down the road. Yes, so sir. it's going to stop at a certain point. Now the rear bathroom of this coach is unlike anything I've seen. This is what it's all about, it huh? Is, it is a little different. So you have a nice shower, great size. Um, and it's angled here. So you've got the configuration nice so that you've got floor space here to move around but you do have the overhead rain shower. You've got the handheld if you want to use that. You've got the a hand bar. So for those people who may be uh, having a hard time getting up and down, they can use the bench seat here, use the grab bar to get up and down out of there. And then the, this has the aquamizer system. So instead of wasting any water in the coach, it has continuous hot water, but the line is not going to be hot water immediately. So it's going to run that water that's not hot through the system and recirculate that until it is hot, and then you can dispense it. So what water you're running initially is going through the lines. You've stopped that from dispensing from any of the shower heads or the rain head, and then whenever it gets hot, it will illuminate the button. You can tell that it's hot then at that point. You can turn it on, take your hot shower immediately. Without Very having cool. wasted any water. Very cool. I just want to get everybody a close up of the pattern here. And they do have this little mat put down, but beautiful tile work on the floor. And then that drain is almost like a seamless drain and just beautiful tile up the wall, shampoo, conditioner, body wash dispenser, so you're not fumbling around bottles of that stuff. Closed space, we have a cedar lined cabinet here. So you can hang your clothes nicely. You could take these shelves out and have all hanging space here, or for those things that you want to tuck away there, makes it a nice space to do that. You have the full extension drawers in the coach as well. And we already talked about the quality of Newmar drawers and how they make them They're very nice. And then the vanity. So more important to the ladies probably wanting to see what the back of their hair looks like. They can stand here in this mirror and see that with the nice illuminated mirrors nice. and then you have a little bit of controller here for the camera the rear camera that's in the back but a lot of space also for those toiletries hair dryers shavers anything you want to plug in you can keep it from cluttering the countertop here and just doing it there these this coach uh, has been winterized so we get a little bit of dripping from the the antifreeze and we don't want to try to well take the risk of staining anything as far as these uh, countertops or the basins so we put these here instead and you've got the nice looks like polished silver um, or stainless as far as the backsplash lighting controls more cabinet space and again with the cedar Andrew mentioned earlier that we've got an exit door in the coach so heaven forbid a mid coach fire an easy way to get out is right back here. Newmark put this door in in 2016 also as I described before. But simply with just the turn of a couple of buttons we can open the coach and that panel at the bottom comes off, a telescoping ladder appears and it'll go all the way to the ground so easy to get out. And I also mentioned loading the coach back here. Someone passing those things in or passing things out if you're unloading just makes it a really really nice feature. One thing I'm noticing is that those same beautiful floors continue into the bathroom, but there is a little step up there, but you still have a ton of headroom. The ceiling got a little bit taller in the bathroom. What's all going on back here? Yeah, you have more of a cathedral ceiling back here. It's six inches taller than what the ceiling would be if it were just flat across from side to side. Another feature that Newmar did back in 2016. So you have a lot of head space back here. Even though you have the step up, you've got plenty of space into the coach back here and also gives you a little bit more head space in the shower area for those people who are a little bit taller and need that room. And then we have the stacked washer dryer here with a whirlpool upper and upper unit lower unit uh, so you don't have to worry about going into a laundromat or using a facility in a, an RV resort or campground you can do it right here in the coach at your convenience and then we have also 
a little drawer at the bottom here so if you want to put your detergents or uh, fabric softener or anything like that that you want to keep there maybe dryer sheets a great way to do that Dwayne this has been a treat to see this 22 Essex now what is the price of this coach if someone is a serious buyer? We're just over a million dollars, so a million, one thousand and some change on this coach. As you can see, it's just beautiful. And if someone is a serious buyer, who should they get a hold of? Well, I hope you'll call me, Dwayne Pinnell. I'm at 816-516-5312 in the Kansas City area. We're in the south side in Belton, Missouri. And my email, if you want to reach me that way, is dwayne dot. P-I-N-N-E-L-L -L at transwest.com. If you want to look at any of our inventory here and call me regarding any of it, I'm able to help you with that as well. Our RV website is www.transwestrv.com. That's going to show you all the inventory right here in our Belton location. Awesome, Dwayne. I greatly appreciate you and the team at Transwest. I also greatly appreciate all of you out there on YouTube subscribing to the channel and liking these videos. I hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again. Thanks everyone. Thank you, Andrew, for joining us today. Appreciate it having you here.